First responder teams in Clearwater, Florida, were out since before daybreak rescuing residents from high water left by Hurricane Milton. Hurricane Milton made landfall Wednesday along Florida's Gulf Coast as a Category 3 storm, bringing powerful winds, deadly storm surge, and potential flooding to much of the state. Milton drew fuel from exceedingly warm Gulf of Mexico waters, twice reaching Category 5 status. A flash flood warning has been issued for St. Petersburg, Clearwater and Largo in Pinellas County along the Gulf Coast until 7.45 p.m., according to the National Weather Service. The city of Sarasota also announced on X a flash flood warning in effect until then. The cyclone had maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour to 205 kilometers per hour when it roared ashore in Siesta Key, Florida, at 8.30 p.m., the Miami-based National Hurricane Center said. The hurricane was bringing deadly storm surge to much of Florida's Gulf Coast, including densely populated areas such as Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota and Fort Myers. The hurricane was downgraded to a Category 1 storm as it moved through Florida early Thursday. like no nothing like it's kind of hard like there's nothing like no kind of air for us so it was like getting stuffy in the house for us i couldn't even sleep for a full two hours i woke so. up like every 30 minutes but i'm just glad we're out and to safety right. and to where we can charge up our phones because i don't have any power because of my family is probably wondering where i'm at so was at like five or four o'clock in the morning we heard uh, we, we seen the flickering light and it was saying like, uh, fire department, is anybody here? And then they're like, they're only evacuating bottom people right now until they get the boats out. So. A tornado was seen tearing across a roadway in Florida on Wednesday before Hurricane Milton made landfall. Tornadoes were also spotted in other areas of the state throughout the day. As of Wednesday evening, three Florida offices of the National Weather Service had issued a total of 133 tornado warnings. The Miami and Tampa offices issued 49 warnings each, while Melbourne had 35. Hurricane Milton made landfall Wednesday along Florida's Gulf Coast as a Category 3 storm, bringing powerful winds, deadly storm surge and potential flooding to much of the state. Hurricane Milton has crashed into Florida as a Category 3 storm, pounding the coast with ferocious winds of over 100 mph and the hurricane has also spawned multiple tornadoes across the state, serving as dangerous warnings of Milton's arrival. The cyclone had maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour when it roared ashore in Siesta Key, Florida, at 8.30 p.m., the Miami-based National Hurricane Center said. The hurricane was bringing deadly storm surge to much of Florida's Gulf Coast, including densely populated areas such as Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota and Fort Myers. The hurricane was downgraded to a Category 2 storm as it moved through Florida later Wednesday evening. It was expected to remain a hurricane as it crosses the Florida Peninsula Thursday before emerging in the Atlantic Ocean. Due south I-75, tornado in progress. Large tornado in progress, west-northwest of the Miccosukee Service Plaza off I-74. Large tornado in progress. 